Now, Digda, what exactly happened to this man's career, bro? At one point in time, Digda's career was, like what he said, shining bright like a star. In this video, I wanted to just take a deep dive into the most recent project that you may or may not know was recently dropped this year by Digda in a mixtape titled Pain Built, rewind to the point that Digda fell out with his now ex-manager Bouncer, and just realise what went wrong. But also take a look at whether Digda can make a comeback, but yeah. With that being said, we got a little bit to break down in this one, man, so let's get straight to it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe if you're new around to drop a like if you're feeling it. And well, let's talk about it. Now, dig that, a rapper out of Deptford, South East London that I'm sure we are all more than familiar with. He's been present in the game for a heavy amount of time now, getting into music almost immediately after serving a five-year prison sentence from just the age of 13. He, like you would have guessed, blew up back in August of 2018 after dropping a street anthem of that year in Air Force, peaking at 20th in the UK charts, which at the time was the highest the drill single had ever reached, going on to later drop a remix of the joint with K Trap and Crept and Conan featuring, with the duo importantly being recruited by Dig that's manager at the time, Bouncer. And talking of Bouncer, it would be him who would have the long-term ties with Crept and Conan, who jumped on Dig That's Air Force Remix out of nothing but love for Bounce. Now, Dig That's climb in the industry was always an interesting one in my opinion. The fact that he had basically won the lottery having Bouncer as a manager, with Bouncer having a link to Dig That's older brother during his own stint inside. It's been known that it was Dig That's older brother who alerted Bouncer to Dig That's talents and aspirations to become a rapper, leading to the eventual introduction of Dig That to the game, all while Bouncer still had Dig That sleeping at his house on the sofa. From his debut release on Link Up TV in a single sales and joints, to his feature on Heady One's The One Two mixtape, his appearance on Kenny Allstar's Mad About Bars, followed up with two more singles with Tactics and Eight Style, then of course top top with the legendary Air Force, 2018 was a very quick off the mark year for Dig That. He continued his all through 2019, kicking off with No Cap being a major collab with Lowski, signed by Relentless Records for 70k, doubling down on the heavy hits with Guten Tag with Hardy Caprio, Friday with Kenny Allstar dropping soon after, then going on to feature on a remix of Lil TJ's FN, and finally sealing the year off with one of the strongest daily duppies to date. Bear in mind during this time, Dig That was leading up to the release of his debut tape, dropping singles in preparation, coming in new deal with other Lewisham man D Block Europe and A Star 2, all while unsigned, remember, and with four labels competing for the project to be on their books, eventually Bounce and Dig That would have the tape signed by Sony for 300k, with an added 50k on top for Dig That to leave the hood and live somewhere else. 8 Mile would go on to exceed expectations doing 5.8k units first week and entering the album charts at 12th position and with the title track 8 Mile featuring H popping off, it allowed Dig That to enter a market that he hadn't tapped into just yet. However, looking at his career now in comparison, it's literally night and day. I could have sworn Dig That was going to level up even further after listening to 8 Mile, yet while the iron was hot, Dig That decided not to strike and drop again, he instead flicked that switch off at the mains, not releasing again for another 9 months. Of course, during this time, Bouncer would go on to reveal all in his music, lifestyle and culture podcast, explaining the events leading up to Dig That sacking him as his manager, with the two falling out initially after Dig That refused to feature on Cadet's posthumous album, being formed by Crept who, like we mentioned earlier, has an existing relationship with Bouncer, making Bouncer feel unappreciated after breaking his back for Dig That. Not only that, Dig That fell out with Little Man, also managed by Bouncer, refusing to live with him and eventually cutting it with Bounce to progress entirely independently. Putting this into perspective, from an outside view, it does look like Dig That is still yet to replace Bouncer, releasing only three times more in 2020, coming in Assassin's Creed, VV and the Beat Freak single 808, with two of those tracks being dropped on Dig That's own channel, which on return to the scene after three quarters of a year is a confusing decision to say the least. To add more fuel to the already dead fire the next release would come in a single titled how high in march 2021 which personally i think is cold but it had little impact on the culture and that sentence sort of sums up the whole lead up to his most recent project pain built following how high in march 2021 dig that dropped zero new music in those next 10 months mad meaning his singles for pain built were released 10 months before the project even came out Dig That has stated before that he has previously had problems with his label and is soon going independent with many thinking that this release was just to fulfil any obligations. But with Dig That standing as an irrelevant rapper in terms of appearing on interviews, featuring on other artists' music, the music has to be there for you to stay afloat and honestly, Dig That was already sinking. 
In comparison to 8 Mile, Payne Bill did an embarrassing 941st week sales. Yeah, there's no other numbers following that, charting at 187th spot. From the artwork, to the promotion, to the lack of help from the label, to the zero features, the whole rollout was a mess. And considering Dig that had a whole 500k following on Insta, even there he wasn't promoting. Even his heart just didn't seem to be in it. Considering Central C was dropping his track list and artwork for his mixtape 23 in January, which he was teasing all the way back in October 2021, it feels as though it was Sench's project that should have been coming out then, not Dig That's. Personally, I consider myself as a Dig That fan bro, I still heavily listen to the man, think he is seriously a dope artist, and I've always felt like he let his music speak for itself, yet when that music ain't doing any talking, his social image ain't the strongest, and if the content is low, the engagement is inevitably low. I know Bouncer recently came out to speak on Dig That's current situation, saying that it only took Dig That three songs to become the biggest drill artist when he was working with him, which you can't deny is true, but regardless, coming off his 2020 album 8 Mile, and him apparently now having over a hundred tracks to choose from i think we're now ready for the next chapter in dig that's journey invest in your promotion find the manager please get out of that deal and experiment with the new popping sounds but yeah will we see a different dig that in the rest of 2022 did dig that full so central c could run i know he's recently linked up with lil tj again future and him had something in the works and has just previewed a drop for later today but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below you've been listening to the noise complaint and i'm out